from Duke University in Durham, North Carolina in a game that was supposed to be played yesterday, but rain pushed back action and was postponed until today. This is an elimination game. The winner will take on Duke while the loser will have its season come to an end. Duke has breezed through their first two games. Bryant right off of the shortstop Posse who can't recover in time. Gamecocks have their lead off nine NCAA tournaments over the last 11 years. Only won two SEC series, however, during the regular season. Lampede has popped up. Big out, Melendez squeezes it. Against each other, just eight combined hits, four for each team. Another one, solidly hit. So a couple of singles in the first inning. They've already, in first three batters of this game, South you, and you do well, and Cummings has been able to play loose. That one goes inside, and just like that, South Carolina has loaded the bases with only one out here in the first. And Ladd cannot believe that that pitch was. And that was against Lopez. Hit deep, four, and gone! Anaya Black clears the bases with a grand slam. We asked for offense, Pam, and South Carolina said, we got you, because right now they have loaded the bases and came away with finally that key hit that they've been looking for, huge grand slam by Anaya Black. She had a five-game hit streak broken in their game against Duke. Not happy about it. Puts a huge hurt on that one. Stung deep with the bases juiced. Look at the offense that South Carolina has been able to put up in the first inning. But they have not been able to do it so far in Durham. And Keanu Jones swings at a 2-0 pitch. Handled by Nelson for the second out. Anthony Small already. Marissa Gonzalez, the seventh Gamecock to come to the plate. She flies out to Dayton. Into left field for Gonzalez. For the first out. Watching the way she's played outfield and also used the short game has been impressive. That one is not going to <laughs> go foul, but I like the way Brian gave it a little bit of a blow to try to get it over there. We'll play. It's kept runners a whole lot more honest over there at first. Stretch out and grabbed. Yes, she is out. What a play over there at third by Zoe Leno. Eb Smith, their head coach. 2-1, sent it to short left field. That's going to drop. Denning took the wide turn. And because of the good hustle by Gonzalez. Had going to have to throw these hitters. As a hitter, I would be watching that. That's a tough pitch to connect on as a lefty. So go ahead, let that one go. It's been a ball. Now with 3-1, hitters count. And that's called a ball. So the paces are speed pitches out of the circle so far. And look what she did, popped it up and going back beautifully to end the inning. Desiderio right in front of the screen. Utah leaves them loaded for nothing. She actually agreed with Coach Amy Hogue about that performance. Short right field where Ortiz was playing shallow, first out of the second. Today. Now the 3-1. Blankenship takes it for a walk. Programs of USA Baseball on the women's national team side. Chopped up the middle, taken on a short hop, nicely by Posse, who retires Bryant, but it sends Blankenship down to second. Well, that, that would have been a tough play to try to get the... So a three ball count on all hitters that Lopez has faced, and I, I was just looking out, and Abby Dayton in center field put her arms up to the sky because she just walked. Oh, 
There's a classic Lopez pitch to get the strikeout. Behind the plate for a couple of games. Hit right at Denver Bryant. Those are the kind of hits that feel bay from the Super Regional. High up in the air, Bryant retreats. She's a good second baseman. She is, and the thing that makes her good is just her. And then they can throw Elena against Duke later today. Thrown out, that's a very tidy one, two, three inning for her. Waiting on the two, one, sending that into left center, tracking it beautifully, Abby Dayton. Ran it down to the home plate umpire, Anthony Small. Nelson retreats, but Bellarde came over from second base to retire Black. I think that can be very positive and just wants the, her athletes to get the most out of college. Deanna Jones, after fouling off a ton of pitches, pops out weakly to the catcher to end the third inning. Carolina. Tough one. And then Velarde is retired on the next pitch, but that was very close. At it again. Lily Denning got a bunt single her last time, faked the bunt, and that time just slapped away, and she's thinking second the entire way and gets in there. If that's not like a quintessential Haley Denning at bat. In the dirt, now two on with just one away, and then Denning tries to take the extra base. She's called safe. It's just a routine walk. She allows the ball to go back to the pitcher and pushes herself over there. I think in review, this one is going to be changed. A great tag by the... Now the runner on first with two outs. First pitch for Nelson. Sends Gonzalez to the track, and that retires the side here. Sent into the gap. Can't be cut off by Dayton, so Gonzalez with the stand-up double to start the fourth. Well, and out in the outfield, Desiderio has three sack bunts this season. That one up in the air and it's caught. Nelson charging in from first, able to grab it before it hit the ground. But that one home run she had against South Carolina, the er, against Utah, the only home run she's had in the year. Waits on it, sends it to the right side of the infield. That will move the runner. Bellardi throws her out. M. Extra inning game. Oof. Double oof. Bryant on the ground, her counterpart at second. Velarde ends the inning. Gonzalez strand at third base. Let's see if Utah can finally crack those eggs. That's a good way to start it. Hawk has with the opposite field single to begin the fourth inning. And put into those positions defensively if they want to leave her in the game. The play over there by the shortstop, Blankenship. I think I would uh, just stand there and wait. Charge by Leno makes a nice catch, a nice throw on the run, pardon me, for the second. I don't think Hurd is feeling that pressure. Melendez skies it into foul territory. Great pursuit over there and run down by Gonzalez. Do you think she's gonna dance again? Lopez in the circle. This is the fourth inning for Lopez and she has gone to three ball counts six times. And there's a five pitch walk to start the fifth. And Lopez does not walk. They have strikes and I say that in air quotes. They're not gonna get called. Sent into center field and that was a terrific jump by Dayton to grab it for the first city of Washington. She is a native of Redmond, Washington. And that got inside and hit her. Well, and when you think about Jen Cummings getting hit, it 
happens a lot. That's the 50 second pitch from Lopez, and this is just the fourth inning she's thrown. A lot of deep counts. Goes upstairs and got Black to chase. 100, just one for 13 on the season, and there you go, Lopez. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Mariah. And they strand Blampede. With Botter as she was a throw as she was a pitcher at Stanford previously. Skied to Blankenship, got the shades on and gets it on the second base side. 2-1 is set into short center, but Blampede was playing shallow. A couple of fly ball outs to start the fifth. On both of these teams, both a Monday finish, knowing that we cannot play three games by one team in one day. Into left field and a beautiful diving catch. Marissa Gonzalez, the dance party again. Is she their bat? Some are in there for their defensive prowess. Already has a double today, but hits that one right on the nose. But Dayton is there to greet it for the first out of the sixth inning. But no dance. Two, two, sent into left field. Denning grabs it for the final. That's a good inning for Lopez. A couple of fly ball outs and then her fourth strikeout. This now their third game of the regional. It's off the glove of Cummings and the wide turn in Dayton takes the extra base. Life found in the... Tries to leave the ball at the bottom of the zone. Seventh pitch of the at bat is handled over there by Cummings. Dayton goes over to third. With one away. And struggling with runners in scoring position. Now two for 16 with runners in scoring position, but at least that gets a run home. And do you think perhaps that Bryant should have thrown home? No, I don't understand why there was a hesitation on third base advancing forward. When you've got a situation like that with the ground ball to the opposite side of the field, you should be reading ball angle off the bat. And as soon as that angle was down, it should have been an immediate takeoff. Bryant thought about coming home, but she's like, ah, we got a four run lead. I'll just take the out in this game. Davison sends it into center. Blampede squeezes it for the final out of the six, but Utah finally breaks through with the run. They try low, or yeah, Mariah Lopez has had for Utah. Great left-handed pitcher, and she got Bryant. And Bryant Gottner, senior. This is the last time you're maybe going to be able to take the field. You would hope to have a more competitive strike zone back there to make the game a little more even. But what is going on in this situation is she's throwing pitches right down. And Utah's game yesterday, 1-0 win over Morgan State. That goes to the hole at shortstop. Nice arm by Posse to gun out Leno. Rick with the review and argued it, and one of the things about replay review is you're not allowed to discuss it after the review comes in. Bellardi right through her, and now we've seen a pinch runner score as Ricks comes around with run number number 100 since she came into the game to start the second inning. And now off the glove of Doyle. all over the record books. Senior from Peoria, Arizona. Strikes out Black, and if indeed of all freshmen who had a very hot ending to her regular season. In the short right field. Grabbed by Henderson for the two to Bennett. The pinch hitter against Vodder. Blankenship out number two. Julia Jimenez in the air. Henderson grabs it 
And Elena Vodder comes in to shut down Utah, and the Utes season ends with a five to one loss. And South Carolina will play Duke in a half hour or so, back to back years. They've gotten to the regional final. They lost in the regional final last year to Florida State, one to nothing. That's coming up next on ESPN Plus.